Hi there, once again, welcome to Adutech. In my previous tutorial, I talked about the match function in Excel, which allows us to get a position of a particular value within a cell range. Remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And also remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial. We're going to talk about the index function in this tutorial. Basically, index function retains a value of a given location within the cell range. So let's say you want to know a value that is located at position nine or the column seven. We can just use the index to do that. So let's say for instance, I want to use the index function to get the position of Amanda. All I need to do is to do equal to index. And we're going to be in two ways. We're going to have one dimensional and then two dimensional. So let's go with the one dimensional phase. So I'm going to select the range, which is going to be the name. So I want to select, to know the position of Amanda within this cell range. So if you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Amanda is at position six. So when I select that cell range, I'll bring comma, and then the next is going to be the row, the row of that particular value. So let's assume I want to enter the row at this position column. And then once I, I type in the position, I type in 60 to give me the value of that particular row. So what is going to happen is I'll close this and hit enter. Okay, so you can see it's not giving me Jane. But to, for me to get the position of Amanda, I just have to type in 6 over here and then hit enter and it's going to give me Amanda. So we're going to use the index. So we are using the index to be able to track the position of every individual element. So to get where we can locate, to get the position of Timothy, I just have to type in what? 7 and then hit enter and it's going to give me the position of Timothy. So this is what the one dimensional. I can use this to get a position of every individual element within this particular range. So basically this is how the index function is going to work within Excel. You can just keep trying and then see the position of every element and you can see this is working perfect. So if I type in what 10, John is at position 10 over here. So you can see if I type in 11, it's going to give us what Caleb. Caleb is at position 11. If I type in, let's say, 5, it's going to give us Adwa. So this is what you can do with index function. We're able to get the value within a particular range just by adding, just by entering the position of that. So we use that function to do that. So the next one we're going to do is to talk about the two-dimensional. Remember to subscribe and then if you enjoyed this tutorial, remember to hit the like button so that a lot of people will watch this video. A lot of people will have access to watch this video. So let's see how we can use a two-dimensional also. So let's see how we can use a two-dimensional as well. So let me double click over here. Let me clear everything and let's see. I'll clear everything and then see how we can use a two-dimensional. Look at how we can go with the two-dimensional. So with two-dimensional, let's say we need to get a row as well as what get the column. So these are the two things we're going to use now. So with the two-dimensional, I need to say equal to index and all we need is a referencing of the entire table we we'll select the entire table and bring comma and then the first thing is going to be what our rule so let's say this is our rule and then we we'll bring comma again and then this is going to be our column we'll close this and then we don't have any value for now but let's say we want to get the value at the column six and then we want to get a value at row six and then the column what let's say column three so we have column one two three remember the column we are talking about is relative to your table you've created not the column of the your entire worksheet so take note of that it's not the column of your worksheet but it's relative the column is relative to your table you've created so we basically have only three columns as you can see with several rows for now so let's say we want to get a value of let's say set. Set is as column what? Column one and it's as what row four. So let's say if you enter four here and then we enter column one. You can see we've been able to retrieve sets over here. So basically this is a two dimension which is a bit complicated though. But when you follow the step, you can easily get that. So let's say we want to get Adjua. Adjua is at column row five and then we want to get the we want to get address at row five and then it's at column one so that is it it's going to give us a but let's say we decide to go to want to get 
product name product name for phone which is at column three this is at column three and then it has what rule six so we can enter six here and then what this is at column three so when you enter you can see we are getting mobile phone okay we are getting phone so basically this is how index function works in excel you can able to get the value within this particular range so we've been able to select this range using the two dimension and we're able to get the value of that so using the two dimension it's going to go with column we're going to go with row against what column so we select give the we select our row and then also select our column and it's going to give us that value so basically this is how it's going to work remember if you have any challenge doing this just remember you need to give me a message at the comment section and i'm going to attend to you and then assist you how to go about it so let's also try another one let's go to seven and then you can see we have row seven do but let's say our column we want to attract any other thing so let's just put in five over there remember we don't have column up to five so you can enter five so let's still maintain three and then you can see it's giving it what dex okay so we have only three columns as you can see but about 11 rows so we can go to row 11 now and then hit enter you can see back is at what 11 and then column is three so basically this is how you can use index function in excel remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos we're going to have several videos coming up on this channel and we're going to show you several excel tricks right here on this channel remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming video thank you so much for enjoying this short tutorial till i come your way another time remember to visit agiotech and then subscribe bye bye